Hello, statisticians. This video is going to look at section 12.1, testing goodness of fit on Excel. Excel has a nice chi-squared test command that works for goodness of fit. We can say equals chi sq dot test, open a parentheses, and then we will select all the observed cells, comma, and we will select all the expected cells. That'll help us calculate the p-value for our test. So we've got an instructor that believes 20% of students are going to earn an A, 35% of students earn a B, 25% of students earn a C, 10% of students earn a D, and 10% earn an F. In a class of 50 students, we find that 15 earned an A, 20 earned a B, 10 earned a C, 3 earned a D, and 2 earned an F. What we're going to do is we're going to organize this information in a table with our observed frequencies for A, B, C, D, and F, and our expected frequencies for A, B, C, D, and F. Observed means what we actually saw happen in the sample. So what we saw happen was 15 A's, 20 B's, 10 C's, 3 D's, and 2 F's. The expected is based on the percentages and the total. There were a total of 50 students. So we can say for the expected on A, it's equal to 20% get an A. We'll say 0 0.2 times the 50 students. And that'll give us 20% of the 50 students. For the Bs, we expected 35%. So 0.35 times the 50 students. For the Cs, we expected 25%. So we'll say 0.25 times the 50 students. For the Ds, we expected 10%. 10 times the 0.10 times the 50 students. And for the Fs, we expected 10% as well. So we'll say equals 0.10 times the 50 students. And that'll give us all of our expected values. If we want to calculate our chi-squared statistic, we can do that using the formula observed, in parentheses, observed, minus the expected, squared, divided by the expected. So we can say for the A row equals the open parentheses, the observed cell, minus, click the expected cell, close the parentheses, squared divided by the expected cell. And when I hit enter, it's going to give me 2.5. I can click that cell and drag the formula down through all the grades by dragging that small dot in the bottom right corner down. And to get our chi-squared test statistic, all I have to do is add up all of those numbers. Equals the sum, open a parentheses, and select all those numbers. And when I hit enter, it'll give me the chi-squared test statistic of 5.96. The p-value, though, is quite straightforward to calculate. We can say equals chi-squared dot test, open a parentheses, and then we're going to select the observed values, comma, then we can ex select the expected values. And when we hit enter, we get our p-value. We were told that the alpha is 0.05. When it comes to making our decision, we have to remember that the null hypothesis for goodness of fit is that the distribution is correct. And the alternative hypothesis is that the distribution is not correct. Because our p-value is so large, much larger than the 0.05 alpha value, our decision is to fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means we were trying to disprove the distribution. We were trying to prove the distribution is not correct, and we failed at our goal. We can interpret and say there is not sufficient evidence to conclude the instructor's estimate, estimated distribution of student grades is not correct. We did not prove the instructor wrong. Hope that this video was helpful to you to use Excel with finding and testing the goodness of fit.